Bungie was acquired by Microsoft in one of the most significant developer acquisitions in video game history. The young company, founded by Alex Seropian and Jason Jones, had experienced modest success with Marathon and Myth, but it wasn't until the development of a game called Blam. Actually, as the story goes, it was originally going to be Monkey Nuts, but Jason Jones didn't quite have enough of his own cojones to proclaim that appellation to his mother. But what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it wasn't until Blam that the senior brass at Microsoft would take notice. With the massive software giant's entry into the console market looming, the fledgling Xbox would need a serious edge against the hyper-hyped PlayStation 2. Edge meaning power, but dare this Macintosh-dedicated team of college-cultured kids leave behind what they knew for the unknown? Well, they so dared, and on June 19, 2000, a short time after the E3 announcement of a little title you probably never heard of it called Halo, which admittedly was still in the infant stages of development as a third-person shooter, Bungie was officially on their way to vanquishing their financial demons. When Microsoft bought Bungie out, they moved them into a white-collar environment, a typical office of quarantine cubicles and isolated rooms. Now, Bungie Studios, as they were now dubbed after the acquisition, has always been known for its down-to-earth, laid-back mantra of working together in an open space, of staying gamers over putting on a tie. So they just tore down the walls of that thing. But that mentality of staying away from the suits and shine shoes has stood as one of Bungie's most enduring hallmarks, the definitive symbol of sticking it to the man by saying, hey, we can work hard making great games, but we gotta be able to have some fun playing them too. It's really one of the most interesting publisher-developer relationships in the industry's history. Microsoft would indeed reap the rewards of the Bungie buyout and the company's chill-out persona, as Halo of course would go on to becoming the killer app for the Xbox, a large factor for the console's success, of revolutionizing the first-person shooter on the consoles, and ultimately spawning numerous sequels, spin-offs, fan initiatives like Machinima, all the while foreshadowing the first-person future as an immeasurable influence. Yes, the franchise has come a long way since Monkey Nuts. Ultimately, with the release of Halo 3 in 2007, Bungie would cut the cord, as it were, breaking ties with Microsoft and becoming a limited liability company, before signing a publishing agreement with Activision. But the ripple effects of one acquisition are still being embraced as tidal waves today, more than a decade after Microsoft unsealed the hushed casket by taking a chance on a squad of Spartans just getting started. June 19th, 2000, This Day in Gaming.